Hey everyone, it's Mr. Ryan. So we're gonna go into the cool down here, talking about constraints, so creating some inequalities. It says Han has a budget of $25 to buy grapes. Write inequalities to represent the number of pounds of grapes that Han could buy in each situation. So, first of all, we know if it's something that we're looking for that we don't know, it could be different types of amounts of grapes, we wanna make a variable. So let's just go ahead and let we're going to say we're going to let g equal the number of pounds of grapes. All right, so now number 1 it says grapes cost $1.99 per pound and we know he has a budget of $25 to buy grapes. So, we know it's going to cost $1.99 per meaning times every pound of grapes. So times some pound of grapes but he has a budget of 25, so it means he can't go over. He could spend all 25, but it's gotta be less than, less than or equal to. So $1.99 times some number of pounds of grapes, it's gotta be less than $25. So then what if grapes cost 249 per pound? Well, we take 249 times every pound of grapes, G that we're gonna buy, and that also has to be less than or equal to his budget of $25. Lastly, well, what if we maybe don't know how much exactly the grapes cost per pound? And we say, well, it's a very, it's another variable. It costs C dollars. So the cost C per pound, so times however many pounds of grapes you buy, still has to be less than or equal to his budget of 25. So we're just trying to make, one, we're trying to decide, well, what are we, what's the variable in this situation? We don't know how many pounds of grapes um, that Han's going to buy, but if we know the cost times that number of pounds, it's got to be less than or equal to his budget. So every time it's got to be less than or equal to, less than or equal to, less than or equal to, because he can't go over.